A Long Island community is stepping in to save a historic landmark in a unique way. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan shows us what's being done to rescue the 300-year-old Roslyn Grist Mill. Drive through one of the oldest villages in New York State, Roslyn, first settled 1633, seems a throwback to another era. On this day, dozens of history buffs gathered in the heart of Main Street, paying tribute to the Roslyn Grist Mill. The mill has withstood time more than 300 years. As a matter of fact, it was the first building. It was the really the economic generator for the whole village itself. Howard Kroplick, president of Roslyn Landmark Society, explained the water power. Howard Flour Mill was sadly falling apart until the community joined with the state, county, and town, pledging matching funds to save and restore the landmark. It's kind of cool that they're raising it several feet up to street level. This is a moment that we've all worked for for, for many, many years. Architects like Nancy Rankin overseeing the delicate hoist upward, hydraulics, timber cribbing, slowly moving up mere inches an hour to stabilize and waterproof the foundation below. To be able to, um, with the highest sort of preservation standards, retain um, what is one of the uh, few remaining Dutch framed industrial structures in the country. Tourist Kenneth Kohut came from D.C. This is so complicated and so unusual that when you, you get a chance to see something like this, you have to you have to come over and see it. Even George Washington was a fan mentioned in his diary when he visited here in 1790. The fact that George Washington, our first president, wrote about this grist mill, this is such a connection to our present, the past and the present, and it's really important that our young people understand our history right here in Nassau County. When the work is complete, the county will transfer title to the village, allowing the Rob Roslyn Landmark Society to operate this as a museum. From Roslyn, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Well, the preservationists hope to complete this exterior within two years and then start redecorating the interior. So cool. History, history everywhere you turn. Right? And they got to move that thing with delicate hands, right? Don't mess it up. <laughs> Get it right.